So I'm here in Boise, Idaho because I am on my own independent tour right now. And I'm able to do that because I started a Kickstarter and I realized that I'm the only person that's going to do this thing, I guess. Um, no one's coming to help me. That sounds depressing, but it was actually very liberating. And um, I just was done waiting. I really want to remain independent as an artist, but I also want to have the freedom to really do this thing and um, put out quality work document things um, and give my 100% like as much as I can and I know that I need the help of other people and it's impossible to do that by myself so it was a pretty vulnerable thing but I, I just put it out there and, and asked people to join me on this journey of me recording my debut album and you know helping me get on tour and making that sustainable and I am so grateful at the result. It was a tad bit stressful, but it was um, very liberating. And I would recommend that to any artist that um, if, if you're wanting to remain independent and you want to do this thing and you actually want to, you know, almost like start your business of an artist, um, Kickstarter or GoFundMe or anything that just puts you honestly in a vulnerable place asking for help because as artists we think that we're so alone but really there's so many people that want to help and join the journey because in my eyes it's fun to watch somebody start their career um, and like be an entrepreneur and there's a lot more people that believe in us than we think it so I would recommend doing a Kickstarter for anyone honestly it was it was pretty kick-ass. For the majority of the Kickstarter, I'm not going to lie, I was 50-50 the whole time. I was like, honestly, this could easily fail. And I think it was the last week I still had like $15,000 to raise, something crazy like that. And I was like, all right, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm putting myself out there. It was honestly the last two days. I remember literally just praying. I was like, okay. This is it, I surrender it, because I had so much more money still to raise, and it was two more days. And it was the next day, I think, that I saw Haley's Instagram, and she had posted about wanting to help fund the rest of the Kickstarter. She's right behind the camera. She gave me $6,000, baby, um, in the last 24 hours. That was just a surreal moment for me, honestly. The fact that I raised $31,000 is a miraculous thing to me. I, I still am blown away that I, that I got there and that I did it. And um, yeah, it was very encouraging. It definitely felt like a miracle though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I would say, okay, my biggest piece of advice for artists starting a Kickstarter is one, completely believe in your project. Um, find out the exact budget that you need and make it just so simple for people to understand. Two, Fake it till you make it. C pretend like you have the money and just celebrate each day. Celebrate each victory that people, if people give you one dollar, they gave you freaking one dollar. At least they went on your website and gave you a dollar. You know what I mean? So just celebrate every victory there and, and make it a positive experience because I think people get stressed out when they're raising money. It can be fun. You can make it. You know, for me, I pied myself in the face every thousand dollars that I got. That was a hit. People love to see pies and face, you know? <laughs> so so enjoy it. Don't, you know, enjoy it and believe in yourself and just pretend like you already have the money and act out of that spirit because that's this that's what people want to see. They don't want to no one wants to see someone desperate for money um, and whining and complaining that no one's giving them. That's probably the best advice I could give you is that if you're making a video for your Kickstarter or you're asking people for money or whatever, think of it more as people are joining your project and it is a beautiful thing to align yourself with what I'm doing. I'm bringing value to you instead of I need money, help me, I'm struggling. Because that's not the case. You're creating something beautiful and people can align themselves with that and contribute to that and be part of it. So I would say just start your Kickstarter out of that spirit and I'd, I don't know how it can't be successful. I hope. <laughs> I can only hope.